what we experience, our experience of the world, is not the reality. This doesn't mean that there is not a reality. There is a reality out there, but this is not what we experience. What we experience is a brain simulation of this reality. It's a construct, sort of like a, in the movie The Matrix, the people live in this illusory world that is a computer simulation, and we all live in this illusory matrix as well that our brain creates for us. And this is the only thing that we interact with, this simulation, not the real world. Now, why do we need to simulate the world instead of experiencing the world directly? Well, one very good reason, one very important reason, is that we don't have the neural machinery necessary to experience the world as it is. We cannot sample every little portion of the world, every little pixel in the scene, so to speak. Uh, to do that, our brain would have to be the size of a building and it wouldn't fit in our head. It, it, the size of a building wouldn't be enough to experience reality as it is. So we don't have uh, the same density of uh, photoreceptors uh, all in the retina if we just think uh, about it from a vision perspective. If we extend our arm and look at our thumbnail, that's the only area in the whole visual field where we're not legally blind. It's the only place in the scene where we can see with high detail. And this is just from a purely visual perspective. But when you bring attention into the equation as well, then what we end up perceiving and experiencing is that that we attend to, and we only attend to a very small portion of the world as well. And not only that, but everything that we're not directly attending to, the brain is actively suppressing. So when we attend to something, that doesn't mean that we're enhancing that part of the scene. It means that we're actively suppressing everything else. So we have a combination of both uh, sensory and cognitive factors that make a percept our perception a very tiny fraction of what's actually out there. So the brain is going to be filling in gaps and coming up with guesstimates and taking shortcuts to overcome all of these limitations and try to arrive at a picture that is not necessarily exactly what's out there, but that is close enough to let us navigate the world and survive and reproduce and so on. So in coming up with these shortcuts to deal with these limitations, a lot of the times we get it right or close to right, but a significant fraction of the time we get it very wrong. And these are the spectacular illusions that I was mentioning earlier, but we have uh, far less spectacular illusions that are nevertheless mismatches between perception and experience. And we uh, have this all the time, uh, every hour, multiple times an hour, on a daily basis, and we're so used to dealing with them that most of the time we ignore them.